Hey everyone, welcome to Jason Explains Things. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about tons of, I guess, cheesy dad stuff, pretty much, including lawn care. So subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more awesome videos. Today is going to be the first lawn care video for 2021, and we are going to be planting shade trees in my backyard. In this video, I'm going to cover everything you're going to need to know about planting shade trees, how to choose which trees to get, when and where to plant, how to plant, and how to make sure the new trees get established. My dad's gonna be coming over to help too, which is a huge relief because these suckers are gonna be heavy. All right, let's get started. Ugh. Hey, do you like my pasty white leg? <laughs> well, it's my second time wearing shorts outside this year, so cut me some slack. <laughs> anyway, when and where to plant trees. For the when, you can pretty much plant a tree any time of the year, but the best time would be the early spring or the fall. Just avoid extreme heat or freezing temperatures because you want to be able to water the trees. Also, it's easier on the trees themselves if they're dormant and not actively growing, so early spring is probably the best time of year. I'm planting three new trees in these spots around the lawn marked by these yellow stakes. And I chose these spots for particular reasons. First off, and most importantly, not really, is uh, these are not the best spots in the, in the grass. You know, they look kind of not great. So I don't mind digging a giant hole right here. I'm taking the layout of the lawn into account, of course, to maximize how much shade each of these trees will create and also to put shade in the most necessary spots in the lawn that get heat stress during the summer. I'm also taking my sprinkler system into account because I want those underground sprinklers to water the trees, but I don't want the tree's roots to interfere with the irrigation system. Yeah, I was kneeling too long. One more quick note about location is it's definitely really important. These three trees that have been on my lawn for quite some time have struggled. I think the reason for that is probably because they are planted way too close to this giant hedge <laughs> you see in all my videos. Uh, I don't think that these trees get enough sun. I think that they probably get enough water, but they don't get enough sun. You know, in a perfect world, these would not be planted here. They'd be planted farther away and they'd probably be much larger by now, but that's okay. We'll keep an eye on them and hopefully they thrive over time. As for what type of tree to pick, you're gonna want something that's native to your climate, to your region. You want something that's gonna thrive on your, in your lawn. And so on that note, let's go to a local nursery and pick some out. So the goal is definitely to try to get as big of a tree as we can, but also not have to dig too big of a hole. <laughs> and also we have a budget to work with. So we want something that can handle all of the sun. We also want something that can handle the hot temperatures, the cold temperatures. It, it's kind of an extreme place to live. Although it's actually really nice in the spring and the fall. It's just kind of the winter and summer are a bit nuts. So uh, that we got a couple of uh, main options. Number one would be Oregon white oak, uh, quaking aspen and red maple. Those are probably the best. And we got a couple other options as well. So let's go have a look. Okay, so we're going with these two blaze maples and that red maple over there. Sweet. <laughs> you think they'll let me borrow the forklift uh, at my house? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready to uh, move these trees? I think so. The important thing is the trees are perfect and I don't hurt my back. That's Your right. back, I, don't, I can't make any guarantees, okay. but my back needs to stay okay. All right, man. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Uh, with my dad's help and the, the gorilla cart and the lawn tractor, that was really easy moving these trees. And per my dad's request, we're gonna start on the smallest tree first. 
I'm disappointed, but anyway, that's okay. So uh, let's talk about the hole we're gonna dig. You want it to be three times as wide as the root ball, as your pot here. So that's a, that'll be as wide as our hole needs to go. And as far as the, um, the depth, you want it to be the same as the root ball again, uh, because you want the bottom of the tree here to actually be a little bit proud of the ground. You don't want to dig a hole too deep because that will cause your tree to probably get flooded and die a horrible death. So don't have to dig too deep, but you have to dig wide. All right, let's get started. <laughs> All I did was spread it like this, you know? Sure. <laughs> it's like so embarrassing. I'm just sore from sitting at my desk. <laughs> oh, my keyboard is so heavy <laughs> to type on. It's a good looking hole. Let's, uh, let's check our depth. Looks like we got a couple more inches to go. All right, our hole is looking good. Uh, depth looks great. So uh, we're about to take the tree out of the uh, container there. But what you want to do before that is you want to make sure the base of your hole is nice and nice and loose. So use your shovel, just kind of loosen up the dirt a little bit. That'll help it grow roots down below. All right, let's take it out. All right, what do you think? Might be a little bit low. Okay, let's take it out again. We'll, uh, we'll backfill a smidge and we'll try again. Probably tamp it in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's good. Here we go. All right, our hole is all ready to go. A couple things that you're gonna wanna do to make the roots grow quickly and establish this tree and make it nice and healthy as quick as possible. So you're going to want a razor blade and what you're gonna to wanna to do is cut some slits in the side of the root ball and also on the bottom. That will make, uh, that'll kind of loosen things up a little bit and the roots will shoot out uh, to the sides and to the bottom a lot faster. Also, a couple more things, reuse your old dirt. You do not want to use potting soil or anything like that because then the roots kind of just wanna stay around the potting soil and they don't wanna go into your natural soil and that's bad. And the last thing again, you're going to want to lightly tamp in the soil as you backfill because you don't want to have air pockets because those get full of water and that's bad. All right, now let's do it. How do we uh, how do we brace the tree? What okay, are we gonna we're use? gonna brace it. We're gonna use T posts. Nice. Two T posts. That usually will be enough. And then we use uh, black plastic tubing, and we use wire through it. Nice. And, they, and attach it. And it usually works really good to uh, keep it from getting thrown around by the wind. Nice. And it doesn't chafe the bar the bark at all. Oh yeah, nice. All right, well that's uh, one down, two one more down. to go, and we won't have to talk as much for the next two, so <laughs> they'll go faster. The other two should be a little bit more challenging probably. That's true, they are bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so actually, uh, YouTube people, let me know if you know what this is. I've noticed this in a couple spots in my lawn. It kind of smells almost like a, a chlorine smell. It smells like it's something rotting. You know? Yeah. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's keep going. <laughs> hey, well, that is uh, two trees done. One more back there to go, and the sun is almost gone, so let's hurry up. <laughs> my wife and my friend Ben who like to call this a girdle or corset it's a back brace and uh, your mocking actually just makes me feel feel nothing so it's fine I, I feel cool so not a big deal hey we 
got it done before the sun, well actually, we got it done after the sun went down, but before it's pitch black, so. Thanks Mission accomplished. Right. <laughs> Dreams! <laughs> Hey, well, it's been about a week since my dad and I planted these three trees and uh, they're looking awesome. I've been watering them every day using that same five gallon bucket. Uh, each tree, five gallons of water every day. Now that it's been a full week, I'll probably switch to watering them every other day. All right, everybody, thanks for watching my first lawn care video for 2021. Uh, more are gonna be coming up soon as we go into the spring and summer. One for sure that uh, we already have planned is establishing uh, more garden space along the back fence here. Uh, my, wife, uh, my wife really enjoyed all the gardening last year, so we're gonna be doing a lot more as we keep going. So if you enjoy videos about lawn care, gardening, building stuff, motorcycles, trucks, uh, other shenanigans, you're gonna definitely want to subscribe ring the bell and turn on notifications for Jason Explains Things. And last thing, really quickly, uh, you can go ahead and leave now if you want, but I wanted to actually talk about the trees for a second. Uh, and this is a little cheesy maybe, but you know, it's actually, when, when my dad and I finished planting these uh, uh, last Saturday, actually I, I almost got a bit emotional about it because if you go back to some of my earlier videos in 2020, we actually talked about planting these trees back then, and it just never happened because of all of the, all of the stuff going on, including uh, me injuring my back and uh, financial issues and, and everything. I mean, you, you, you were there too, right? We were all there together having a, a terrible time and uh, just kind of being a little bit on the other side of that and being able to plant these is just kind of like one of those steps towards something new right and it's just really cool to plant them and see them and I just can't wait to watch them grow I mean I know that's cheesy but I just seeing these trees in the backyard just makes me feel um, makes me feel blessed and reminds me about gonna be cheesy kind of reminds me about God and reminds me about you know it's not all up to us you know we we just need to sometimes I don't know, it's weird, sorry. <laughs> it's what I look, think about when I see these trees I planted. So anyway, um, but I, anyway, I, 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 if, if anyone else out there is kind of feeling like, feeling overwhelmed or, or still on the negative side, um, I just encourage you to ask for help from your family and friends and also to pray about it because that's what I did. And every, you know, as time goes on, things get better. And one of the things that gets better is trees in my backyard. So <laughs> that's it, everybody. Until next time, don't forget to do it yourself. Bye.